Hey everybody, this is So Heidi, and this tutorial is on pulling one single repeat tile. So, you may have made a repeating pattern either manually or using the pattern tool within Illustrator CS6 and versions beyond that. Um, you can do this technique no matter how you made your pattern. So, over here I've got my sock which has my cherry pattern that's made, and now my manufacturer or my printer is asking for one repeat tile of that artwork. So what I want to do is I want to work from the swatches panel. Over here I select the swatch that I want which is the cherries. I drag and drop that onto my artboard. Pulling the swatch from the swatches panel will give you a rectangle or a square if your repeat tile is a square of one exact repeat. So the rectangle that you see in here is one exact repeat. From there I'm going to use that rectangle to create a clipping mask around the artwork. That will then expose one exact repeat tile. So this artwork, artwork will by default be grouped. So what I want to do is double click to get inside the group um, in isolation mode which allows me to access the rectangle independent of the rest of the artwork. I select that rectangle. Now there's a couple ways you can do this. The way I like to do it I find the easiest is to just copy that. So Command or Control C, get out of there by hitting Escape, and Command or Control F to paste in front. It is edit, paste in front. This will paste that rectangle that we just copied exactly in the same location from where it was copied. So Command F, you'll notice it's exactly in the same space. I then will select all of the artwork, the cherries as well as that rectangle that I just pasted in front and I choose Object, Clipping Mask, Make. What that then does is it masks the edges where the artwork repeats and I now have one single repeating pattern tile. If I want to just double check this, I have got my smart guides on so if I try to manually tile this repeat all the edges will snap together. So I'm just going to make some copies and I'm going to snap them together and it looks like it is repeating quite nicely. I usually check it on both axes and it is repeating perfectly so now I know that this is one individual repeat tile I'll delete the other ones I can now then provide my manufacturer or printer with this single repeat tile that they have to create my artwork hope that gave you a little insight into pulling one repeat tile out of your pattern swatch and taught you a little bit about how the pattern swatches are made thanks for watching see you soon